Hi there guys, this is my exhaust manifold. And this is how I made it. Your head is full of dreams. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta try. So as you can see, I bought the manifold plate there um, and it's bolted in place just with a few bolts at the moment just to basically line it all up. Um, and then what else I've bought? Uh, these 90 degree angle bends. This is 42 mil pipe and it's about 2.6 mil thick, I think. I've also bought a pipe that's in the same thickness. Uh, I've done a bit of this. I'm not quite happy with, with so how far I've gone so far. Um, so I'm going to redo a little bit and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it basically right so this is pretty much the idea of how I wanted the two pipes to go from the beginning so this is obviously number one number four and this is obviously number two and number three um, if I put that one over like that that'll give you an idea of how I want the system to go or at least how I wanted it to go uh, now after making the inlet manifold um, I've got a little bit more confidence so what I want to now do especially with this one is come from here to the edge there and the same from there so I'll get two more pipes there and put them into the end there rather than using this Y piece I'll make my own little Y piece here uh, instead of these two coming here and I was going to put a collector on there and bring them down what I'll now do is put a bend on there, coming down here and then coming down into one piece to match that one. So these ones will have a slight bend here about, I don't know, it's about 30 degrees or something, just to bring it all the way down level with this one, like that. Um, so that is the plan at the moment. Um, so I've made some cuts um, and I'm going to try and tack it all together now so that I can put it back on the car and um, test it. So I'm going to get the welder out and the grinder. So I've cut two new pipes here and these ones as you can see have got a 45 degree bend on there uh, and as you can see when I line that pipe up with that one it should be about right and it comes down to about the same level as this one like I say I'll probably need to shorten this one and I'll probably need to shorten that one but I can do that later I've also cut these ones at a little angle there so when that's welded onto the pipe that's in there it should come down and it should come to about the same end as that one and then obviously I need to cut a straight cut down this side of that pipe as well so at the moment I'm now gonna chop off this pipe here at that measurement and I'm gonna cut these ones off they're just tacked on so it's just a matter of cutting those two tacks and then I'll be able to weld these ones onto these bends um, and see how it goes, basically. Right. So I'm at the stage now where I'm quite happy with the fit of everything and what I need to do now is weld it all. 
So I'll take you through the process of what I've done. Um, and basically, it's all started with these two external pipes, one and four, which are there. And I wanted to bring them in at a 45 degree angle there. And then they come down and they turn into a collector. Now the reason I've done this collector is I basically took apart one that I'd already got, which is one of these Y pieces. It's welded like that. Both the pipes actually twitch each other in the middle like that and they're welded together. And then that piece is welded onto it. So I took it apart and that meant I got this piece left over. And I thought, well, that piece will actually fit like that. So that gives me the piece that I want. So I'm able to weld these two together here. Um, I'll be able to weld from the inside there and get everything welded together. Well, actually, I'll be able to weld it from in there when I've welded it together. Um, but I'll be able to weld here, then I'll be able to weld the rest of it from the inside. Obviously, this needs welding up this gap and that gap there. I'll be able to put a little piece of something in between there just to stop them from falling apart. And then it's a matter of welding around all of these joints here and welding it to the manifold bracket eventually. So that was those two. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Obviously, this is a bit of a bit of a miss here, cut it a little bit too big and things like that, but once it's all welded together, you won't really see anything of it. So that was that. So then I've got the two uh, center pipes. So pipe number two and pipe number three. And they go in there like that, which meant that as I bring them down, I can do exactly the same thing with another one of these Y pieces. So I'm gonna get another one of these, I'm gonna cut it apart the same as I've done with this one, and I'll be able to weld it onto that one, meaning I'll have two of these pipes that I can then bend around the sump, around here, and then turn them into another collector piece and out through the one piece system for the rest of the exhaust. So I've got now probably an hour's worth of welding, just to weld all these joints up so um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next hour or so. So it's got those two flanges now welded on, nice and neatly. Quite happy with how that's turned out. Uh, I'll show you underneath if I can, what it looks like in there. There, so you can see the two pipes coming nice and neatly together there. And the two pipes in there as well, all nicely ground off the inside. So it's fully welded on the inside, so the gases can't escape backwards in there. So now I need to get some pipes that will take that gas there, I want it as close to the sump as possible, that one there will go slightly further that way, they'll then join in a Y piece there to one pipe and then out the back of the car. So I've made this pipe now which comes round here and starts to go along there and it'll be the first part of the two, I'll get another pipe next to it, they're going to be fairly close to each other along here. So. What I want to do now is copy this bend here, but obviously make it slightly longer, and then go to there. Right, so this is now what I'm hoping to be is the complete manifold. Both the pipes coming down into two separate pipes. From there, they then go into two bends, and then join eventually into one, and from one I want it to go all the way back to the end of the car. Um, this join here is a bit it's a bit sharp really I would have liked to have had it a bit more rounded but well there you go that is how it is um, I may change that one day in the future right now not too worried about it um, to 
put them together. <laughs> I did want to weld this one straight into this one. The only problem with that is I found that once I've got these two pieces together, I can't get it in the engine bay. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it, it catches on everything. So I've had to separate it. Well, I still can't get the manifold in um, and it's catching on this lump. Don't even know what it is. I assume something used to go into it, but I've no idea what. So um, it's not going to be there anymore. Time for the angle grinder. So now that I know that I can get the exhaust in in one go, in one piece, without taking it apart, I can now weld that flange together uh, and make it look a lot neater there. I've also, while I got it apart, cut out about six and a half centimeters out of that pipe, bringing the back of it a lot better to fit a pipe, because as you can see, it's really, really tight across there, but now I can put a little kink in that pipe and bring it slightly over here. So I think that was well worth cutting that little section out of there. So I'm going to so I'm going to weld that front pipe up now and then I can start making the rest of the exhaust to go all the way through the back of the car. <laughs> So I finished it off now with a coat of, or two coats I think it was, of heat resistant paint. Uh, it's all bolted back onto the car and I'm just going to continue with the rest of the exhaust and a tiny little back box. I don't want a big one. So if you like what you've seen in this video and you want to see more, press that subscribe button, press the bell. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot and bye bye.